Hello friends! This video is an extra special one because it is just for those of you who are leaving Bonn International School at the end of this school year. Normally we meet together at school to talk about ways of making leaving a little bit easier for you, but because of the way things are right now, I'm making a video for you instead. Like all of our leaving students, you will get a really special Leavers t-shirt. Your teacher will either be giving that to you if you are at school, or if you are not a student that's returning to school, we will mail that to you. So you will get a Leavers t-shirt in any case, um, which is really cool. It says our school name. It's great colors, blue and green, and it's something that you can wear for many years to come. And remember your time at Bonn International School. So today we're going to talk about a way of making leaving Bonn International School and making moving a little bit easier. So we're going to talk about something called a raft. And this is what I mean when I say raft. R-A-F-T. There are four special parts to raft, and we're going to talk about each one of those. And remember that going through all of these four parts will help make leaving school and saying goodbye a little bit easier. It's still very normal to feel sad at the thought of leaving, to also feel a mixture of excitement at the thought of something new. A whole mix of emotions is really normal at this time. So remember, this is just to help make things a little bit easier as well. And it's important to keep talking about whatever you're feeling during this process of leaving. So the first letter, R, stands for reconciliation. And that means that it's really important that you leave all of your friendships in a way that you can feel some closure on. So it might be that you had a friend that maybe you hurt their feelings or maybe they hurt your feelings or maybe you're just not as close as you were before. And it's important that you bring some end to those relationships. Maybe it means saying, I'm sorry, or maybe it just means saying, we used to be really close, we're not anymore, but I really enjoyed getting to know you, I wish you well, thank you for the times we had together. It can be really small and simple, but it is important that you don't leave those things without some kind of closure and without some kind of better feeling about ending things with those particular friends. Um, the next letter is A for affirmation. This is probably my favorite part whenever I am moving from place to place, and that's the time when you get to tell everyone how you feel about them, how, how much that they've meant to you, all the good memories you have together. And so a lot of different kids do this in different ways. So you can show affirmation by telling people how you feel about them. You can show affirmation by writing cards or letters that people can look at many years later that just share all the positive things that you think about them and what they meant to you while you were together. That's a really nice process for you to think about that and it's also really nice for other people to know how much they meant to you. The next part of RAFT is F. And that stands for farewell. That's the hardest part of the moving process and that is the time when you say goodbye to people. And that could be, for some of you, it might be having a special Skype chat with a friend. It might be having lunch with a friend before you go. It might be sending people cards with your new address or your new phone number or your Skype details so that they can help keep in touch with you so that you don't lose those friendships. Because when you go, you're going to be making lots of new friends in your new place, your new school or your new country. And you're also going to have all of these friends still here that you had before, but it's important to try to keep in touch with them. So think about a way that you can do that as well. And then finally, the last part of RAFT is think destination. And that means that's a chance for you to think about the next place that you're going. 
And maybe you're not moving from Germany, but you're going to a different school. So you could think about the new school that you're going to. Maybe you've already visited it. And so maybe you already have some things that you're excited about in your new school. If you're moving countries, maybe there's a lot of new things you can discover and learn about your new country. And that might be something that you want to think about too. So going through all four of those steps, reconciliation, affirmation, farewell, and think destination will help make saying goodbye to this a little bit easier. On our end, from myself and also from Bonn International School, I want to thank you so much for being part of our school. You made our community stronger and better place and we will miss you dearly. And remember, even when you go, we will still talk about you, we will still think about you, you will not be forgotten at all. We will still keep those connections and are so glad you were part of our community. We wish you all the best in your next journey destination, wherever it is that you're going. And wish you all the best. Please keep in touch with us at school. We're always happy to get cards, get news of what you're doing, get emails. We're really happy to hear about what you're doing because we're all one big family. So my friends, thank you so very much and wish you a wonderful day and all the best ahead. Bye-bye.